very exciting weekend for Ariana Grande and the and her fans, her fan, her the Arianators. Mm -hmm. So she got married over the weekend, mm -hmm. which is interesting. And let me just a little shout out right now to all of my friends who got engaged over COVID. I've had I can't believe how many friends I've had that have gotten engaged just over the past couple of months. And they're planning either a two part wedding or a three part wedding. Kind of like yeah. the MTV movie awards. <laughs> it's a two parter. Right, right. And so they, they have a whole thing planned. Like and so I've I've some friends that have a lot of things planned, some things that have some people that have like two things planned. Do what Ariana Grande did. Just have a tiny little wedding, have a ceremony at your house. That's what she did. She had 20 people at her house. She's been engaged to her fiance, Dalton Gomez, or her new husband, I guess, since December. So here's what's interesting about this, because you're probably like, Ariana Grande got married. Who cares? Here's why it's interesting. Because, okay, so two reasons why it's interesting. One is, after all her high-profile relationships with Big Sean and Mac Miller and then Pete Davidson, she posted that she was going to keep her next romance on the QT. Everybody was like, you're Ariana Grande. Like, there's always paparazzi. Like, we always know what you're up to. So she's in New York City. COVID happens. She starts dating this dude. They're in quarantine here in New York. He's a real estate agent. His work moves him to Los Angeles. So she buys him. A she buys them a house in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. She spent she spent just under seven million dollars. It was Ellen's old house. They move there in August and she decides she's not going to even post about him. No one's going to know any of this. And then in they got engaged in December. It wasn't until April that she posted all these photos of them. And she wrote, my heart, my person, thank you so much for being you. And then this weekend, they ended up getting married with just like a few friends. Okay. Since, uh, let's say 2015, how many times has she been engaged? Oh, pff, to every guy she's she's been with. Right. So yeah. when I saw this, I'm like, good for her. I'm happy for, her. but you know, the other part of me says, I'm let's count the days. Let's, let, let's have a contest. Well, here's the thing though. I think it's really smart to have a small wedding. If it's somebody you haven't been dating that long, like I think they're, they're together. January was a year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, January was a year. They moved in together in this house that she bought them in August. And now, you know, here they are. They got engaged in December. They're married now. So maybe it's, yes. So they've been together like almost two years. So anyway, this is why it's smart to have a small wedding. Because if it doesn't work out, you didn't have the big elaborate wedding. You didn't spend tens of thousands of dollars. You didn't have all your friends flying in from all over the world and people mm. buying you expensive gifts. And there's a dance and there's food. And there's no, I'm always courses. a fan of the small wedding. So I, I love that idea. But it's better. If you're going to get divorced, like I, I keep thinking, like I had a really fun wedding and people are still like, yeah, you were one of the best weddings that we've ever been to. We had a really good time, but I'm divorced mm. and I got all these really great gifts and I still have them sitting around my house. And it's weird. It's awkward, like to have a big giant wedding and then wah, wah, you know, but what kind I hope she has a prenup. I mean, they got married pretty quick, so mm -hmm. I wonder if she had that. She, oh, she probably has a prenup. Of course she does. All right. All right. She's no dummy. I, I, I don't like anything about this. I don't think he's poor, though. I mean, he, he deals in he, real he, estate. Okay, in he might not be dollar. poor, but he ain't. Ariana Grande. He can't, he can't buy a $7 million no. house on a whim. Like no, no, he no. Did. <laughs> he, he can buy a $700,000 house and probably afford the, the payments every month. He ain't, right. he ain't got her type of money. Right, that's true. I yeah. mean, she didn't sell her place in New York to move to right. LA. She still no. has that. That's right. So she she's got money. You know, listen, she's not she's not dummy. She definitely has a prenup. There's no question, and I'm I, I would be shocked if she didn't have one. Well, Paul, she's not that Paul McCartney stupid. didn't. So, I mean, right. there's people that do it all the time that don't that say I'm going to be with them forever. So why do I need it? Or maybe she's somebody that money's not important to her that, you know, so if they get divorced, he can have half. What does she care? She'll just make more. Mm, okay. Don't like none of it. I <laughs> don't All like right. anything about it. You like the small wedding. You like that idea. I do like that idea. I like that because they only had 10 people at the wedding total. 20. 20 mm -hmm. at the wedding. So I think that's brilliant. At the house. They didn't have to rent a place. 
You know what I mean? You just, you bring in a caterer, they feed you. It's no big deal. No, I mean, your mom can cook at that point. Only 20 people, you have that many at Thanksgiving. So uh, you could probably run through a drive through and get enough food for that. I'm sure they. that's something that I can see her doing. Here's something else that was kind of interesting. So the ring that he had made for her was diamonds and pearls. And the pearl that was in it, he had gotten from her grandmother. Mm-hmm. So her grandmother had a ring with a pearl on it or, or some sort of pearl and gave it to him to put in a ring for Ariana. Because the family loves him. Like, they, they approve of all of this. They're like, yes, no problem. Yeah, but did they love the other 14 that? she's been engaged to in the yeah, past probably. couple of years yeah yeah that's like that's happy for her. don't think it's gonna work so but she's a little, she's 27 now she's a little older right she she is a little more mature mm. and she's a she's different 27 than kids. you were she's probably huh? thinking about kids and right and all that so i understand that yeah she wants to be a young mom i would all right so you sent me oh, this douchebag Oh, yeah, right. We got to talk about Ricky Schroeder. See, it's like, what's the douchebag? that uh, Chachi. Oh, Scott Baio, yeah. Scott Baio. So mm-hmm. these guys, they just need to shut their mouth and not post things. Scott Baio dug himself into a hole. ABC doesn't want to have anything to do with him now. I don't think they wanted anything to do with him before that. I know, but it's, the, his, it's not like he had a flourishing career and they were like, you know what? We're you're canceled. Listen, he's entitled to his political opinion just because it's weird sometimes just because you don't agree with it. He's entitled to his political opinion. I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with the bullying like they're they're bullies. That's the bigger thing that they use their celebrity as like a bully pulpit. But his bullying I'm, now is making him not get a job. So his agent sent ABC an email and said, we have this new show. It's a great show. Here's the premise. And they said, we don't want to have anything to do with this guy. Yeah, I'd like to say that it's because of his political opinion. I am telling you right now, this they wouldn't have. No, they, they can't. They sent back and said, I don't want to deal with Scott Trump bail. Oh, yeah. They put Trump as his middle name. Yeah, they've, so, he's definitely alienated a lot of people, that's for sure. But that's ABC. <laughs> now you only right. have two networks left <laughs> you know, to go after. But what I'm saying is VH1 didn't want him. So ABC was not going to, they weren't going to move forward. I don't know. There's mm. like this whole retro thing now. So maybe, you know, had he not shot off his mouth. It's like, like you say, I mean, so now he hit tweet too many times. And now look what happens. Now he can't get a job. Was it worth it? Exactly. I mean, he's always been now? he's always been conservative always he's always been a conservative that's that's he's always been really into fox news he's always been like a fan of bill o'reilly he's always that's this has always been his platform and everyone's known about it mm-hmm. it's just that now because of twitter you know he's been able to use it it's it's the it's not their opinion it's the way that they that they use their celebrity and they use it like a bully does like this ricky schroeder thing Right. Like this Ricky Schroeder thing, which my favorite thing about this is that I was talking to some friends about it this weekend and they said, who's Ricky Schroeder? Oh, that was my favorite part. I was like, that is a (laughs) sick burn right there. Oh, (laughs) I'm telling you about somebody that used to be famous and you're like, I don't know who that is. Sick burn. Okay, so Ricky Schroeder lives in California, of course, like all the celebrities do. And he goes to Costco. And as he gets to Costco, I guess. There's a guy outside who's kind of like the um, he's a supervising manager or whatever his title is. And it's his job there to make sure people come in and have masks on because uh, they still have a mask mandate in California that has to be followed. That's just all there is to it. So Ricky Schroeder thinks that he's being a real bully. This is this is the this is the definition of punching down. He pulls out the ca- the camera, he pulls out his phone himself and starts videoing himself having a confrontation with some guy who makes seven dollars an hour my name is jason and who are you what do you do here i'm a supervisor front end supervisor and here. why aren't you letting me in because in the state of california in the county of los angeles there has been costco. no and costco there's been no change yes, to our mask policy not in the state of california or in the county didn't of you see the news Coast. you didn't see the news nationwide Night- this is before costco came out and said that you can go in now this was right, before they, they just that. decided that today. Right. Yeah, this, this was, 
This over was over the weekend. The weekend. So, this was like Friday. Said you don't wear, need to wear a mask. Actually, that's not accurate. What, what is accurate? So what is accurate is that Costco always, always goes above and beyond when following the law. And the mandate in California has not changed. There does seem to be the possibility that in June, by mid-June, that's a date that California I know oh, if is they allow at. us. Neither one of them are doctors, by the way. If they, if they grant us right. that, our kings, the people in power, <laughs> you're going to listen to these people? Well, I know they've they're... destroyed our economy. Well, they're so destroying they're our evaluating. culture. They're destroying he's like yelling at this. But this guy's a, he's a supervising manager. He's just doing his job. This is his job to stand out there. He's a supervisor. And you're just going to listen to their rules. Well, every time you go to Costco, there's always somebody outside that checks your membership card to let you in. Right. So now that person is a membership card checker and a mask checker. Right. So that's what's going on here. Well, right. What we are going to do is simply follow the guidelines. Okay. I'm getting my refund. I'm getting my refund from Costco. I suggest everybody in California get their refund from Costco. You Give mean up cancel your membership. Costco? <laughs> He's canceling it, <laughs> yeah. to Costco until they remove this. Okay, well, this hasn't changed in any building uh, in California, in any company. This guy has no idea who he's talking to. No, he doesn't know. No one knows who Ricky Schroeder is. Like I said, I had to explain it to people. Okay. Fire mask. But that's not the point. The point is Costco is simply abiding by the law, and that's the law. There's my refund. You're the manager? I'm the manager. Okay, I'm suggesting everybody in California get a refund from Costco until this rule is lifted. Thank you. <laughs> it's like she's laughing under that mask. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, like, can you imagine you're somebody who used to be on television, you're to some to a certain generation, or to some people, people recognize you. And you're gonna go bully some guy who's like a manager at Costco. Like, I mean, what am I supposed to do now? Like go out and, and uh, harass some homeless people? Like, I don't get it. Like, what what message is he sending here? It's it's all so weird. And my favorite thing is so, do you know um, actor Michael McKeon from Laverne and Shirley and Better Call Saul and Spinal Tap? Mm-hmm. Okay. He tweeted, he tweeted, he p- tweeted this out and he said, when you have a lot of time on your hands, <laughs> meaning like <laughs> this dude's not working. Um, somebody else tweeted, this is my favorite thing. I'll never cry at the end of the champ again. Oh, that's right. He was the I champ forgot. guy. That's right. He's the guy from the champ. So now I won't either because it's him and that other batshit dude, Angelina Jolie's father, who's, you know, crate also uh, does like the whole both bullying. of them yeah. are insane. Right. Exactly. And they're both in the champ together. So now I don't have to cry at the champ anymore, which is good. Um, but yeah, right now, this is the most airtime he's had in years. <laughs> <laughs> he put out another video. Uh, a couple hours apologizing, right? apologizing, saying, you know, I am sorry. We're not going to play the whole thing because we could care less, but I love how everybody got to him and whatever publicist maybe that he has or right. friends said, Hey dude, y- y- you might need to say something. Yeah. This, you look like an asshole. Right. So the bottom line is he, he apologized to the Costco dude. Right. Yeah. That's all we need to know is that he apologized to the Costco. Now you, now you have me really self-conscious about my bangs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you started the whole show off picking on my beard, so I'm going to pick on your bangs. <laughs> yes, and you have been. And now I'm like looking at them. Um, yeah, the thing is, so he apologized to the Costco dude, but that, who cares? we're not looking for an apology. There's two things about this that make me laugh. One of them is that he's using his celebrity to bully a Costco, to bully some guy who is on the social stratosphere and financial stratosphere B- below him so that's right there is gross mm-hmm. and the second thing is isn't he from the party of we hate cancel culture and the first thing he does is like cancel your membership at costco what what now <laughs> i'm sorry you, you spent a lot of time telling us how much you hate cancel culture but you used your platform to tell people to cancel their memberships at Costco. Do you, good not hear, do you not see the irony in all this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point because he's standing yeah. outside waiting for them to cancel his account. And using his social media platform to tell others to cancel their Costco account. Well, I mean, I, he's also the same person that when we found out that the dude from Home Depot had given money to Trump, he was one that was like, you know, when people were canceling their canceling, going to Home Depot, he's the one who stood up and was like, no, you can't cancel Home Depot. That's not right. The guys are right to give his money to whoever. And, you know, he was defending that sort of thing. So, well, I mean, Costco is like 
a hundred dollars a year membership so he uh-huh. probably does need that money so I, yeah he's I, not working yeah yeah i think he went there to get a, a, a refund to begin with and they wouldn't let him in right with yeah. <laughs> and my favorite thing he probably walked up and said do you know who i am and they were like nope no, we have no idea who you are <laughs> I don't think anybody know who this is. No, no, no one knows. Wait, Somebody else you comes are. in. You know who I am? No. Nope. Next nope. person comes in. You know who I am? No, 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 no. When I was 10, I was famous. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was in Silver Spoons. Silver Spoons. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It was right after the champ. It was right. Silver Spoons. So wasn't he on some NYPD blue or something? I don't know. Maybe I, th- I, 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 I thought he was it. on some some NCIS or he might have been, but it's nothing I watched. 